Hello and welcome to today's edition of Reverend Folklore Reviews. Are you one who is interested in the obscure and the dark? Well, today I'm giving an overview of Shrouded Recordings out of Portland. They are a short-run cassette uh, label and zine publisher that largely covers harsh noise and lo-fi black metal and subgenres tangential to those. So if you are interested in the dark and the obscure, stick around. Shrouded Recordings is based out of Milwaukee, Oregon. Or for those of you not from a Portland area, uh, they're basically based out of Portland. And by they, I mean Brian, uh, who is really pretty much single-handedly uh, headed this thing up. Um, he is uh, someone I've known for a long time. He played in a band called Apoa. Um, I played with him for a while in a band called Pilgrims. Um, he's had some other bands. Uh, currently, he's doing SBTDOH. And he is also part of the uh, creative force behind Hexanite, which I have covered before on this channel. Over the past couple of years, I personally have amassed um, a little bit of a uh, back catalog library of shrouded recordings. And everything has a little bit of a different flavor. Um, of course, I, like I said earlier, um, one of the flagships of this label... Um, is uh, Brian's project SBTDOH, um, which is pretty much just raw, harsh noise together with some different audio samples. Um, harsh noise. Um, what is harsh noise? Well, it can take on some different flavors depending on who's making it, but uh, it's less. Noise music has meant different things at different times, at least from what I've followed. Because uh, some people think noise music and they think maybe more of just kind of a messy jam, maybe heavy distortion, um, just a band kind of having a loose structure, but just kind of playing sloppy, loud, and aggressively. And that's not necessarily what I'm talking about today. Uh, harsh noise as a genre is really just that, reducing noise music down to the kind of rawest components of it, where it is more a, like meditative catharsis than anything that resembles melody generally, or anything that resembles songs generally. Um, it's... Uh, Sometimes can be like, uh, almost like having your radio between channels or your TV on a dead, on a dead station, just static. Um, SBTDOH, uh, to me, um, you know, without listening to it, it's a little hard, so I recommend you check it out. But to me, it sounds like you are in a deep, dark place, um, for me personally, I kind of imagine being deep in the ocean, uh, completely devoid of light, and maybe what a um, under the ocean volcanic vent would sound like. It just sounds like this tremendous release of pressure, just this surging, pulsing release of pressure from a deep, dark place. And it is kind of bridged together by different audio clips Brian finds from different sources. Um, sometimes uh, talking uh, philosophical things, um, social issues, uh, personal emotional issues. Um, kind of gives things a little bit of a topic. And then it has this just wall of noise that carries it over to the next sample. It feels like the samples kind of give you a topic, almost like 
this is what this portion, this is a meditation on this topic in this portion, or at least that's how I've been seeing it. Um, so that's uh, from Brian's project. There's also another project from the, uh, from the other half of Hexanite here, which is from Aaron. Uh, it's uh, The Abandonist. Um, and this one is called Urta Ale and the End of a World. Um, also kind of noise-based, but um, maybe has some more familiar touchstones. As it's a really, it has some rhythmic parts. Um, there's some just really nasty, just distorted sounds. There's some guitars in there. There's some just squelching vocals. And then there's just also just wall of sound in there. But it's a really, um, it's a really cathartic, it's a really expressive and dynamic release. Um, so I'd also really recommend checking that out. So if you check out uh, SBT, DOH, and Abandonist, you kind of get some ideas from the other halves of Hexanite, which I've talked about before. But there's also some other stuff from the label. There's some more um, just kind of like, there's lo-fi black metal, um, you know, drums, bass, guitars, uh, screeching vocals, just really raw and energetic. Um, so it's definitely a little bit of a uh, non-traditional label. Everything is short run and on cassette. And uh, you can of course get digital versions, but a lot of them have these uh, kind of nasty Xerox black and white covers to them. And uh, it really gives it a kind of distinctive aesthetic that runs through a lot of the releases on this label and uh, really it's something different if you sometimes it's fun to just discover music and sounds and this might be a good place for you to start if you kind of want to just jump into something completely different also with the orders I've made I've wound up with some just kind of extra goodies that Brian threw in there um, I got some stickers this one's thrown from Apoa uh, which is worth checking out. Uh, more stickers. Also, uh, Brian sent me some of the um, original art that he used to, uh, to Xerox that he used for cassette inserts. So some, uh, some posters here. But then there is also the uh, shrouded recording zines. And uh, I don't... I'm not sure how far he is uh, with these releases. This is the seventh zine, or maybe more by now, but a lot of this is just kind of a genre musings. Uh, there's a lot, there's some interviews in here, and also some uh, album reviews, and a couple little uh, little ads thrown throughout it. But uh, it's also got the black and white Xerox look to it. Um, well, not just look. This is a uh, this is a real thing. But, uh, an interesting read. Also, uh, kind of fun if you want to discover some new some new stuff. Um, maybe try something you haven't before. But uh, harsh noise, lo-fi black metal, and just dark, messy, cathartic music. Um, it's not for the fan of heart. It's not easy listening. Um, and maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. It may be worth a look if uh, you're interested in jumping down that rabbit hole. And uh, while you're at it, uh, order a couple cassettes. Uh, they are affordable, and they might ship to you with some extra goodies, so it's always fun to just give yourself a present in the mail. So, uh, yeah. So check out Shrouded Recordings, and uh, I will see you next time here on Reverend Folklore Reviews. Until then.